very classic low pressure system. It winds up and moves off to the north and to the east, keeping us in the bands of snow. If you live down into north Georgia, that's where you're going to see the highest amount. Strong winds are going to start late this afternoon. About 4 o'clock, the snow will begin to get heavy. Uh, you know, forecasting a storm like this, it, it took a lot of guts. You know, we were going out on a limb as early as Wednesday, calling for six and eight inches of snow, and for Chattanooga, that is unheard of. It was almost hard for us to believe what we were saying. At the same time, we were telling you, we tried to believe what the, the forecast models and the maps were, were telling us, but it was hard for us to believe, and we never imagined that we were going to have that much snowfall. I hope that the bad part doesn't start until everyone has uh, an opportunity to... Um, to get home from their jobs and maybe go by the store and get some groceries. They're buying up everything. And if I get snowed in for three days, I have two children who don't have enough junk food. But she's taking care of that problem. Five bottles of Coke, four bags of potato chips, little Debbie's, chocolate chip cookies if we get snowed in for something to do, cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. We're going to be a snowman, and, and I can wonder if me and Dad can have a snow fight. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. They're for my little boy and my little girl to play in tomorrow and Saturday. Until the first flakes fell and really started accumulating, we were really tense, and after that, the pressure started uh, easing up a bit. The roads are a bad place to be on. A lot of sn slickness, especially on the exit ramps. People are finally starting to slow down, and uh, traveling is going to be very treacherous, especially along the ridge cut and the higher elevations uh, for the next few hours. That will continue throughout much of the day tomorrow, but while traveling is treacherous, here at the Sunset Cafe, people are having fun with an old-fashioned snowball fight, and I think I'm going to lose this one because it's three-on-one, but everybody is having a good time. A good old-fashioned March snowstorm here in the Tennessee Valley. Really, it doesn't get much better than this, does it? Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama are all under a state of emergency because of the storm. I want to give you a shot of just what I-75 looks like. I know people have been imploring you all day long to stay off the roads. Folks, this should convince you. It is one big parking lot. No matter where you want to go, you can't get there from here. On I-75, even the brave abandon their cars. The roads are obstacle courses. Drivers rumbling over snow and dodging cars left sitting smack in the middle of the road. Instead of clearing the snow, plows themselves got stuck in it. These are the only two working all of Cleveland. Back up. Cover the track right behind them. So as soon as you get it clear, it snows right on top of it again. Yeah. The five salt trucks also stall. As Steve Rogers dumps salt, his mind is elsewhere on his wife, who's nine months pregnant. I call her about every two hours. Check on me. She's not too far from me. She could go into labor any minute. Anytime. It's been lights out for 80% of Bradley County. At the Holiday Inn, 150 stranded travelers bundle up. And it seems bad times are also made for Michelob. A six-pack washed away Troy Cataret's hopes for a vacation in snow-free Florida. And it is still snowing, but uh, the winds have picked up to 40 and 50 miles per hour, and that is becoming a real problem. Spinning tires on cars stuck in the snow was an all-too-familiar sight on the roads. It seems Mother Nature got the best of the Tennessee Valley this weekend. Traveling on the roads has been pretty tough all day. Early in the morning, several inches of snow covered the highways, and as the day went on, it got packed down into a thin sheet of slickness, making many motorists wish they'd have never hit the roads in the first place. People just shouldn't be on the roads. We were just coming home and had to get home, and they said stay off the road. We didn't. So maybe people will. 
Icy roads stranded many travelers for hours, and for those who were lucky enough not to get stuck, it was slow going. Even the police had a hard time handling the slick pavement. Officer William Neblett had to be rescued by a tow truck twice. Situation. Sometimes there just isn't much you can do. The, there's, they say it just depends on what, how stuck they are or what the problem, what the problem is, and sometimes there's just nothing you can do because, you know, we're not, Chattanooga's not equipped for this kind of snow. Equipped or not, quite a few folks played good Samaritans and stopped to help others get out of the ditches. Someone did us a favor this morning by pulling us out, so we in turn have been good, doing good deeds. We've been helping people get their cars out. The snow may have stopped, but authorities say no one should be out driving unless they absolutely have to be. Stay home and try to stay warm. They gonna send live truck? No, see it. What you see behind me are vehicles that are abandoned on I-24. All those drivers have gone and taken shelter here in East Ridge. says there's no rest for the weary. An Army National Guard caravan rounded up these stranded travelers and took them to shelter. Good spring break. Yeah. No, bundling up in blankets is probably a far cry from basking in the Florida sunshine like these 300 spring breakers expected. Just ask college freshman Dan Wonderlick. This is my first and it's I guess I can't curse on the news. Uh, <laughs> that sums it up, though. <laughs> yeah. This is the vacation from um, hell. <laughs>